Today we're going to talk about identifying and replacing bad terminals in the 80-way connector used with all Allison 4th and 5th generation TCMs. Using paper clips or mechanics wire to check terminals will cause damage and require replacement. Allison recommends using Kentmore Jumper Wire Kit J39197 to check pin tension and probe terminals. If the terminal probe is inserted and falls out when the connector is turned upside down, the pin will not make good contact, causing electrical codes. To repair the connector, start by removing the loom retainer using a pocket screwdriver. Gently release the locking tabs in these locations. With the loom retainer removed, you now have access to the back of the connector. The red terminal spacer must also be removed to reveal the locking tab. This cutaway shows the locking tab in detail. Using a removal tool, gently lift the locking tab while pulling the wire out of the back of the connector. Cut off the bad terminal and strip the insulation. This is a two-step crimp, so strip enough wire to allow the insulation and conductor to be crimped onto the new terminal. This is what it should look like when it's complete. The keyway on the terminal only allows installation one way. Install the wire into the correct pin location until you feel a click. Then pull the wire to ensure it's locked by the tab. Reinstall the red terminal spacer. Using electrical tape, clean up any loose wires that may be pinched and reinstall the loom retainer. We have individual repair parts in stock to repair these connectors. If the connector is beyond repair, we also carry full kits using these part numbers. If you have any questions, please visit our website at wellertruck.com or calling 800-872-6697. You can also email info at wellertruck.com.